So my name is uh, Constance Pinsdorf. I'm the H145 military program manager and uh, I'm responsible as well for the product policy. I have the pleasure to introduce the H145 now and this kind of helicopter is a 3.8 ton helicopter with a useful payload nearly of around about 1.9 tons. This military aircraft is completely based on the civilian version, which is a really successful one. And the successful uh, civilian version is already sold more than 1,500 1, times, so that you can see we are really based on a really uh, mature baseline. So this is uh, really interesting for us as well. And also for the global market, of course. So you can use all the benefits which are coming from the civilian version. It means that the maturity is really good, the maintenance is really good, the support and service is really good, and also the logistical um, interaction. This kind of aircraft is a multi-role helicopter. It can be easily switched from a search and rescue helicopter into a utility, into a transport helicopter, into an armed escort, and of course also to a light attack helicopter, which you can see here very clearly. We have the outer stations which are called MPPs, multi-purpose pylons. And these multi-purpose pylons are able to carry different kinds of weapons. These different kinds of weapons can be easily mixed up between each other. So it means you have the choice to, to use the H1 for the, the HMP 400, the 12.7 millimeter gun with 400 rounds, or the cannon with 20 millimeters, or of course also the more, in brackets, intelligent weapons, like the anti-tank missile. The anti-tank missile can be delivered as a dual launcher or also as a quad launcher. It means in total you can carry eight missiles and you, these missiles are controlled by, via uh, radio control, via radio frequency control or fiber optical control. Fiber optical control, it has a range of round about 10 um, kilometers with the uh, um, frequency control stuff you have a range of about around about 16 kilometers and this is uh, our newest um, development we did a live firing campaign of an international audience around about two weeks ago this was really successful in Romania directly and we show our capabilities there it was the first de-risking phase which took place during that time and yeah it was really appreciated by the customers as I said we can easily switch the configuration you can also use rockets as well so we have the opportunity to install um, laser guided and also unguided rockets. This is a rocket pod which is coming from Belgium uh, from uh, FZ and th there you can see that we have the opportunity to use these 12 tube launcher with nine unguided rocket capabilities and a lens protection kit for the upper row for uh, three laser guided uh, rockets. It is a caliber 70 millimeters so you can see that we have a huge range of using the different kind of weapons. What else can I say? We also have the um, opportunity to install door gunner equipment inside this helicopter. So that means if you will uh, remove these kind of outer stations and this can be easily done within 30 minutes if you do not have so much um, experienced guy, I would say. If you have experienced guy, it is easily to remove in less than 30 minutes for each side. And then you can use the same fixation for hoist, fast roping, fast repelling, so that also special forces missions can be, um, can be realized at the end. The cabin itself can be used for up more than 10, uh, up to 10 people in total with high density seats. Um, up to 10 people uh, in total. Normally uh, the, germ the, the um, customers are using it uh, for special forces, for example, up to eight people. And if you install on the left and on the right hand side the pencil mounted machine guns, you can also carry six people in total. You have a complete 360 uh, approachability inside the helicopter due to the fact that we have two sliding doors on the left and on the right hand side and also at the rear, uh, rear entrance is also possible and you have a shrouded, tail rotor, a shrouded uh, tail rotor which gives us the opportunity to have a safe entrance. 
With our five-bladed uh, um, main rotor system, we got the, the opportunity that we could increase our useful payload. And this useful payload is uh, increased up to uh, 150 kg in, in total, which means uh, the useful payload up to 1,900 kg is uh, yeah, a totally, uh, increase of, uh, totally amount of uh, useful payload at the end. We have the, also the opportunity to switch between the different kind of mission equipments. We can install different kind of EOS system. We can install also um, tracker system, search landing lights. We can also install float system inside uh, our or directly at the skit. So this is also no problem. We have a huge um, modularity here, a huge versatile uh, concept. And that also gives us the opportunity to say this is a real multi-role helicopter. From the cockpit point of view, you can see we have a complete digital uh, system with our Halionic system, which is self-developed, and the weapon system H-Force, which is called H-Force system. And therefore, we have the concept that always the gunner is uh, in charge of the mission, and the pilot who is sitting on the right-hand side uh, is, is in charge of the flying mission. Then the other thing which we can take into account is here that the maintenance, as I already mentioned it, is really, really low here. And with the new main rotor system, we have the opportunity to also increase our uh, maintenance um, activities as well because it is hingeless and bearingless. And you can see that you can easily deinstall and remove and install new rotor blades as well. And so this is always a maintenance improvement for the customer. Um, regarding the self-protection system, uh, we have the opportunity to install missile warner and uh, there will be also the development for the uh, radar warner and laser warner. So this will be the upcoming next improvements. And this kind of helicopter is also able to handle man and man teaming capabilities as well. So you can see there's a huge range. Um, and from the maintenance perspective, it is also really helpful uh, for the customers. So at the end, there's a complete successful story behind this aircraft, which uh, also brings really a huge benefit for the customers as well.